cannot come to Paris and not have pastries. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rated V. I am in Paris, France, and I am going to show you where you can get some staple dishes, sweets and treats, things that you don't want to miss out on when you're visiting in Paris. And of course, I'm going to be showing you some tourist attractions, some sites that you need to see while you're visiting Paris as well. So let's go. My first stop was Le Marais District to try out the Du Falafel with almost 8,000 Google reviews. It's one of the most popular restaurants in Paris. It was a must try. My friend and I ordered the falafel platter and hummus and falafel plate with fries, of course. It did not disappoint and you will leave stuffed. There is a dine-in and takeout option. To walk off the food, just 20 minutes away, we were able to reach the Louvre and then afterward, we headed over to catch the sight of the Eiffel Tower at night. The next morning, I took the scenic route to make my way to VG Patisserie, an all-vegan French patisserie where you can get anything you dream of. So one of my first stops this morning is VG Patisserie, and I am here because it's a 100% vegan patisserie here in the 11th district in Paris. I cannot come to Paris and not have pastries, so I'm gonna show you what they have. So the items I got that I couldn't resist, I got an almond croissant. I got a chocolate bouchette and a quiche because, well, if you see a quiche that's vegan, you have to try it. I also, of course, got a latte because all of this needs to be accompanied by coffee. Let's be real. And the milk they use here is oat milk. So I'm going to start here with the quiche because I love starting with savory first. This quiche has such a good eggy consistency. It's like fluffy. Smooth, it's very flavorful, seasoned very well. Great texture, and I love that the top edge is crisp. So, and they have a nice crust at the bottom. Very good. And now the almond croissant. The flakiness on this is unreal. It looks amazing. They use margarine instead of butter, but it still gives it that like flaky, because this is what you want in a croissant. I got an almond one, and I got it toasted, so it's nice and glazed and toasted on the top. The almond paste on this is very delicious. It is chewy in the center, it's nice and crisp on the top. It's, it has the traditional texture that you look for in a croissant. It is legit. And last but not least, we're gonna try the chocolate bouchette. Of course, like I said, they make, I like that here they make more elevated, fancy vegan pastries that you typically don't get at other bakeries. So this I had to try. They have the beautiful chocolate flakes on top of the cake. And there's fruit in the filling. Very good. Again, if you're ever in Paris, make sure you stop by here because you will not regret it and you will not have FOMO. Next, I made my way to see Notre Dame. Although it's still closed due to the fire, it's still a nice sight. And if you're a huge book fan, make sure to stop into the Shakespeare and Company bookstore, an iconic Parisian bookstore just across from Notre Dame. It also has a cute cafe with vegan options as well. For my lunch stop, I headed back to Marais to try some French dishes with a vegan approach. So now I'm here at Le Protégé du Marais. Marais is known for being a trendy area, there's a lot of shopping to do here, there's a lot of restaurants, cute cafes, great vibe. And the reason I wanted to come here is because they have a lot of traditional French dishes that they've made vegan. So I'm excited to show you guys what they got. So I'm starting with French onion soup, which I mean, come on, you're in Paris, you're in France, you want to try French onion soup. Instead of cheese, they have a layer of potatoes on top, and but the vegan cheese is inside, but they have the soaked bread and everything. This is definitely something good that you want to eat on a cold day. It's very soothing, very flavorful. It, although it doesn't have the melted cheese on top, they still did a really good job of giving flavor to this dish. So I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so next I'm trying the beef bourguignon. So obviously beef bourguignon is made out of beef with a red wine reduction, but here they use seitan instead of beef. And I mean, you cannot tell me this doesn't look like beef. So I'm gonna give this a try. There's mushrooms in this dish, seitan, gravy. Mm. 
I think they did a really good job making the seitan look like beef. The wine reduction make, gives it that red color to make it even look more like beef. A little acidic because of the wine. Overall, I think it's a pretty good attempt at the traditional dish. Although the flavors aren't exactly identical because the seitan obviously has a different flavor. The mushroom doesn't come through as much in this, but I think if you want to have that meaty texture fix, this is a pretty good dish that you could order. And of course this dessert, you gotta finish with dessert. So I have here a chocolate cake made with chestnut flour, which means it's also gluten-free. It has a almond chantilly cream. Mm. I really like this chantilly cream, this is so good. The chocolate cake is sweet. You can kind of taste that it's chestnut, but it's, it's very good actually. It's moist. Oh, I like it. The next day, I decided to make my way towards Sacre Coeur to see one of the best views of Paris. But first, on the way, I passed by a street that had two vegan cafes. One was Hollywood, where I stopped to get a vegan version of a Mont Blanc. Typically, it's dairy heavy pastry, so I was happy to try a vegan version. The other cafe up the street was Cloud Cakes that sells various desserts and drinks. Sacre Coeur or Basilica of the Sacred Heart is an iconic landmark of Paris and definitely worth the view. Afterwards, since I was already in the Montmartre area, I decided to walk by the iconic Moulin Rouge Cabaret. So if you're wanting to catch a show, just FYI, you can do it after you see Sacre Coeur. For my final dinner destination, I decided to go to Le Feitu in the Belleville district, where you can find vegan options and a Parisian brasserie vibe. So if there's another thing that you want to do when you're in Paris, it's you want to go to a brasserie style cafe. I'm here at Le Feitu and they definitely have that brasserie feel. It's cute, it's quaint, but the reason I'm here is because they offer a vegan cheese platter because A, you're in France, it's like what they do, they eat lots of cheese as their appetizers with wine and so here you can get that but you can get it all vegan. They have an extensive menu, they offer a bunch of different things. This is what I want to show you and they also have a cured meats board so definitely excited to check that out. So I couldn't resist, I got a full spread. I got their cheese platter, which by the way are homemade. They make them here in-house. They have a variety of different types of cheeses from mild to strong. They even have a vegan butter that they serve it to you with. Then I got the cured meats platter, which they also mix in like a vegan foie gras. Really nice, because sometimes you know, you want to miss it, you don't want to miss out, but you, you know, you still want that French experience, but vegan. And then I couldn't resist, and I got their iron CD because it is a special, and of course, you were served this whole thing with delicious French baguette. Now I'm trying the arancini. Absolutely love the spices that they put in this arancini. You know, it's just like a small amount too, so you can really like do tapas style and eat a little bit of everything, which is the kind of way I love to eat. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna try their vegan foie gras. Because vegan foie gras, that seems unreal. I like it. I've never had real foie gras, so I don't know if it like, tastes like the real thing, nice and light. It definitely looks like it has a texture that I've seen that of foie gras, so I recommend you definitely should try it. This butter, I cannot go over it. So the butter is made out of olive oil, coconut oil, cashews, and a soy yogurt. I'm telling you guys, this is the most real butter I've ever tasted. It tastes like that 100% cream butter. Amazing. Now I'm trying this darker cured meat. Everything is so good. Like, this is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so glad I came here. This place is located in the Belleville area, which is, I'm gonna be honest, it's a little outside of the main touristy attractions, like near the city center, but it's worth it. If you wanna take the metro, it's not that far. You just hop on the metro and there's a metro stop very close to here, or you can also take the bus. So it's not that it's inconvenient to come over here. It's very convenient. It's just not in the center of all the action, which honestly, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, sometimes it's worth the trek because sometimes it's where the better food's at, where the locals eat. That's where you want to be. Shout out to Veganlicious Paris for recommending me this spot. Thank you. Highly recommend this place. Make sure to add it to your list. Come visit the Belleville area. Well, that's a wrap. Hope your mouth is watering, and next time you make it to Paris, hope you're able to check out great vegan food and check out those sites. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Bye.